Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. And welcome to the May Artsy Second Sunday Hop. Links to the videos of the artists participating in the hop are listed in the description box below. And as always, thanks to Martha from I Love to Paint who has organised this. If you're watching this as part of the live premiere, then do jump into the chat box and say hello. And of course, you can hop along with us today. So this is a speed process video. I will try and explain all my steps as I'm going along. And I'll leave a list of all the products I've used in the description box below. So I'm using an A4 canvas board. And at this point, all I'm trying to do is to create a background. I'm doing it directly onto the canvas using a mixture of titanium white, ultramarine blue, and now I've moved on to some more of the white and lemon yellow. I spend quite a bit of time on this because I want to get a really good foundation layer for what comes next. And you'll see there also mixing in a little bit of Mars black just to get some grey towards the bottom, but also adding in a bit more of the ultramarine blue. Again this month we had a list of subjects to choose from and I chose masculine theme. So now again just using some Mars black but mainly white on the, on the board. And you'll see that I don't blend all the colours in fully. I've now drawn, more or less off camera, a male figure and I'm starting just to put in a bit more detail. So he's wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans. So just starting to add my first layers of colour to this character. And you'll see as I go along that I come back to this several times, starting to put in some darker shades in places and just getting a better colour for the jeans, but putting some shade onto his white t-shirt. And these are details that I'll come back to several times during the course of this painting. So now starting on this area, and these are going to be wings, for this is an angel. So I'm using a palette knife for this, just a plastic palette knife, using my paintbrush to get closer into the figure, and uh, trying to make the wings very textured, not looking for an even shape of feathers, but just something that is very textured and not looking to make the two wings exactly the same shape. They're, they're broadly the same shape, but not in every detail. Now starting on the clouds below, and I'm using an old scrubby brush, as I call it, and my fingers, just trying to make it look as if the clouds are around his feet. So again, using some white, some Mars black and some of the ultramarine blue. And just blending that in as I go along. You'll see that I use several different brushes. It's just using whichever one I think is going to give me best effect. And this little brush, I mean, the hairs are worn way down on it, but uh, it's one that I like because I can get in and kind of just scrub with it. So now taking some of the lemon yellow again and just trying to bring a slightly deeper colour around the figure. I then leave this for 24 hours because I want the wings to be fully dry before what comes next. And what comes next is that I take a wash of burnt umber and start applying it to the entire piece. I'll take some off just with a piece of paper towel. But what I wanted to do here was to really start to add a bit more depth to it. It felt a bit flat and it just needed some depth adding to it. But I didn't want that to be one flat colour over it, one wash over it, which is why I uh, lifted some of it off. So now going back in, adding some grey to the wings 
and starting to work a bit more on his t-shirt. I didn't want it to be that standout white the way it was either. So although I now have a bit of a mottled effect, I'm quite happy with that because I can start to build up layers on it, but still have that kind of mottled effect where I want it. So now doing a bit more work on the clouds and using some phthalo green and phthalo blue. And adding it and then rubbing it in with a piece of kitchen towel, adding some white in. This is just about trying to build depth. I'm now using some portrait pink and I'll use that and some of the burnt umber to start to put uh, some kind of skin tone onto my character here. Darkening it in places, just trying to bring out where there would be kind of natural shadow and of course trying to make sure that the figure doesn't just look flat on the page. So again I work on this for quite some time trying to get kind of three different tones you know a light, a medium and a dark. Just using small brushes at times to get this amount of detail in. And one of the things I was very keen to do here was to have him kind of with his hands in his pockets, but with the thumbs sticking out. I spend a bit of time wondering what colour I'm going to make his hair. Uh, I change my mind two or three times on that. But again, you'll see that I just add it up in layers. And feeling much happier about this now that I've added that depth through using that kind of wash of, of burnt umber. It just seems to have added so much more to it. So I'm going to be working away on this detail for a little while and uh, I'll just put some music on just for a couple of minutes and then I'll be back towards the end.
So I added some gold paint to it and just using a little bit of a gold pen here. Now off screen I then brought the clouds onto the top a bit just to try and frame it. I wanted to leave it to a day when it was sunny so I could actually let you see the gold. So what you'll see next is a couple of days later when I just add a little bit of silver to the wings and a little bit of white to the wings but you can see that gold reflecting a bit more there in the sun. So I do hope that you've enjoyed seeing this speed process and I do hope that you will check out the other artists in the hop. If not on the day of the premieres then you know at your own convenience. As I say all the video links are below. So I'll just say now thanks so much for watching and just let you see these couple of finishing moments. So thanks so much, take care, bye for now.